Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. Right, so I've upgraded everybody, which actually did take a, a decent amount of time, to be honest. Um, I've also bought uh, some extra health packs, so we're going to give everybody as many health packs as they actually can. Which, again, is another thing that once you start getting uh, a decent amount of people does take a considerable amount of time and it's one of those quality of life things that I really wish that they would have um, improved but you know it's not the end of the world it just takes a little bit of time right so let's just keep it's so weird to be going back and playing with like the small repair kits and things like that um, I've also made our guys white because that actually makes them stand out quite a lot and I kind of don't hate it Items, oh man, yeah, he really did use quite a lot of his repair packs. Repair packs are so important in this game. Anyway, let's go to the bar, because I don't know if we came to the bar before. Barzilla. I think we did. Yep, yeah, we've been here. That's fine. So let's go to the military ward, shall we? We've received word that one of our light transport planes went down in the mountains, 60 clicks north east from here. Now, we actually heard someone in the bar talking about that. Your mission is to recover the plane's cargo before the statesmen do. Set it up ASAP and move out. This is the crash site. It's within proper OCU orders, but we've detected uh, UCS troops inbound. Here's the mission intel. So, their top pilot is level two and our top pilot is level three we should be okay with this one okay so what we're gonna do is leave town and i suppose crack on now whilst we're here we can actually go back and we are quite free to go wherever we want so we can go back to the bar here for instance and talk to everybody again the wildcats now, I don't think anything ever changes, really. There is a couple of instances where if you go back and talk to the people in the bar, you can actually recruit... In fact, I think it only happens once. You can go and recruit a hidden character. Hey, I'm one of the factory grease monkeys. You got a question about machines? I'm the one to ask. A Wanza pilot, are you? Let me give you a few pointers on Wanza setups. It's all well and good to cobble together a Wanza with all the parts you want, but you get better mileage by specialising. Focus on HP and defence stats to make your ride take more hits, or focus on hit and movement ratings if you fancy hit and run tactics. Whatever you do, always think about your ride's body stats. If that section gets destroyed, it's all over. Yeah, so basically you got to protect your core, essentially. Um, and I always like to focus on HP. I don't really care about having a fast, fragile Wanza. I want a big, beefy tank that can take a hit and keep fighting. And Beretta. I beat him up pretty good in the arena. Now he doesn't even have the cash for repairs. Yeah. Ooh, you bitch. You be careful out there. Right on. Okay, let's get out of here. And head over to the next mission. New Milligan. I love the map music so much. So much. Uh, I remember I used to just leave my DS on whilst I was editing videos, just listening to the music. There's something about it. It's so, like, melancholy, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. Especially when the story gets going and you see how dark things really are. Natalie. USC ground units approaching, Captain. Let's get that container before they spot us. Hey, someone is up there. A civilian Wanza? He's standing in plain sight. The UCS will see him. You there, this is a free fire zone. Evacuate the area at once. Hey lady, do you mind? I'm getting some footage from my hot scoop here. Frederick. What did you just... He, he cut me off. Journalists. Move up. He's going to need our help whether he likes it or not. Right, and this is where we can actually select... Um, our team that we can take in. Always take the maximum amount of people we can. Uh, I don't know how many teammates you actually can get in this game. I think 
When I got to the last mission, I had 16 members of my team. I am going to look that up. But on the last battle, you can take 17 in with you. So I must have missed somebody. Uh, but we're going to take everybody that we can. Now, it doesn't really affect the story too much. Because obviously there's quite a bit of chatter between your men. Um, it, if you don't take someone, they will still chatter. It's still like everybody's here. There's just only certain um, pieces on the board, so to speak. So anyway, let's go. I mean, if you wanted, you could just take one Wanza and you'd get absolutely creamed. And we want what's in that box. Because that is a spicy chicken McNugget, let me tell you. I see one, un <coughs> I see one unidentified Wanza near the crash site, sir. Must be the OCU. We'll neutralize them. I like how evil these people look. It's brilliant. Alright, well... As much as I want to get to the box first... We're gonna... We're gonna send people up this way. Now, what's in that box is a new missile launcher. And it's bloody devastating. And we're not actually going to be able to buy that missile launcher for a long time. But anyway, let's go dig Frederick out of the fire that he's got himself into at the moment. Gee, there's a lot of Wanzas here. Oh, also, you really do need to upgrade all of your Wanzas uh, every time you get the opportunity. And as annoying as it can be to have to grind out in the arena, it really is kind of important. Because if you go into a battle and you're under-equipped and undergunned, you're gonna have a bad time. That's okay. We're packing state-of-the-art goods. Let's have a quick little peek at the tactical map here. We're definitely outnumbered, which is normal. Okay. And this is why it's also very important to replenish all of your health kits as well at the end of each mission. And as well, that can be expensive doing that too. But it's so, so, so important. Oh, looks like he's going to go grab himself. Whatever's in there. Whoa, what the hell? Frederick's getting hammered. Ooh, not bad, Fred. Not bad. Ack, help me. What now? We need to hit the UCS units anyway. We're covering them. But, sir, we don't leave people surrounded and alone. Not this time. Yeah, Royd. Royd. Civilian vehicle, this is the OCU Army Mercenary Group Canyon Crows. Form on us and we'll cover you. Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, I do <laughs> I like that. How the hell has a reporter got his own bloody Wanza? It's a bit like, um, you know, going over to Ukraine or something. And there's, like, BBC reporters driving around in their own tanks and helicopters. Like, combat helicopters. Yeah, kind of strange. Um... We've recovered the cargo. Amazing. It's a new type of missile launcher. Good work. Let's see how it works on those Aussie Wanzas. Yeah. Well. I'll tell you how it's going to work on us. Um, quite well, unfortunately. But that's okay. We need to cover Fred. Now, if Fred goes down, I don't think it's like the end of the world or anything. But we really don't want him to go down. Oh, yes. Welcome to Bone Town. Population U. Yeah, if these bone missiles get a decent strike, they're really good at this level. But missile launchers are expensive. Come on, Fred. Get out of there, dude. Seriously. Stop messing around. Okay, that's bad. Kind of want Fred to just run away. Not looking good, though. Yeah, they're all going to pile up on him. Yeah, I think it's going to come down to kind of like RNG if he survives or not. But that's okay. 
I'm pretty sure if he does get KIA, I don't think that actually, uh, you know, gets us in the shit or anything. I'm pretty sure the mission just carries on as usual. Right, let's go sit our ass right here. And we are going to launch a volley. I guess we'll launch a volley at the Missler. I suppose. Alright, well. Did some damage at least. Tempted to drop down here and just, yeah. I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Let's get you starting to pull back this way. You might be in missile range of somebody you are. Send it. Nice. Come on, Fred. They're just going to hound him. Ooh, Fred's going down. Nice. Yes. Come and engage us, you bastards. Not bad, Natalie. Not bad. Fred. Ooh, Fred. Those guys haven't even moved yet. Just probably for the best. Right, let's drop down. Oh god, right. Let's hit ye Oh, that's the commander. Let's hit him with the bone. Alright, that did some decent damage, actually. Right, let's move someone else first. Kind of want to save Fred if we can. Come on, JJ. Make it happen. Well, I mean, you've taken his legs out. And you level up in the process. I suppose taking his legs out kind of helps us. Wait, Ryuji. You've got bones. Why can't you use them? Right, he was too close. Yeah, you can get too close to use your long-range weapons. You can get under the gun, so to speak. Alright, let's get you down here. Hmm. You know what? Go for it. Yes, Missler is down. Good kill, Natalie. Good kill. Right. Hopefully with the commander's legs damage, she won't be able to... Oh, I can still keep up with them. Ah! Oh. Ow, ow, ow! Where's my camera? Probably on fire, Fred. Probably. That was unfortunate. Oh, nice. Miss. Very nice. Right, let's light these guys up. That's not great. Come on, get that attacker. Yes. Melted his ass down. We got a calm body. Well... I definitely think we're above those. Uh, right. Let's get down into the fight. Let's take this guy out of the grave. Ooh. Not quite what we were looking for, but I mean, better than nothing. You. Hold this guy. Come on, right. Oh, Ryuji. That's not what we're looking for, buddy. You're going to have to do a little bit better than that. Nah. Close in on the commander and take him out. That's the stuff. See what I mean? She's actually really good. We've got a new rifle there. Interesting. Might be a decent rifle. Let's send some artillery this way. Ah, oh, Keith. Keith, I'm disappointed in you, brother. No matter. JJ, can you pull it back? Well, you disabled his hand. It's a shame it's not a useful hand you disabled, but whatever. Whoa, flash. Not great. I mean, at least it didn't do any damage to us. Now, the unfortunate thing about artillery strikes is you can't fire back. You can't defend against artillery strikes. Uh, which is, you know, 
kind of an advantage and a disadvantage. Right, this guy has no arms left. He's disabled. Cat, you really are getting that door then, aren't you? Right, we're gonna go Leo, you know how to open this door, right? Really do know. You've proved it multiple times now that you can open that door. You only pretend to be feeble and useless when I'm recording. Okay. Right, let's start work. That guy has no arms, so he's no longer a threat. So, let's go for this guy. Oh, <laughs> missile streaking over his head. I think he probably panicked a little bit there. Well, let's keep funneling missiles his way if we can. You know what, JJ, you can't really do anything else. So, go for it. Easy experience, I suppose. Although it's only five experience. It's like barely worth it, to be honest. Defend yourself, Ryuji. Good. Good. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know what? Let's just finish this guy off if we can. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Right, Ryu, make it happen. Well, I mean, valiant effort. Come on, Natalie, show him how it's done. Well, actually, that wasn't bad. You did a lot of damage, and you avoided his attack. So I'm going to say that was a win. Keith, send him a volley. Nice. There we go, Keith. Excellent. Not bad. Now, uh, all of these guys actually have uh, weapons that they're supposed to be better with. Um, they actually get better with either long, melee, um, short, or dodge at a faster rate. But it, it really doesn't make a huge amount of difference. So, how much health have you got? JJ, you're fully healthed up. Let's go. Let's get you into the fight. Unfortunately, here they come now. Oh, this rocket. Ah, he's gone. Ah. I have to salvage some of these parts. Yeah. That's the new rocket launcher that they have. It's devastating. And I'm actually slightly annoyed that we lost... A character there, but that's fine. Oh, come on, man. Those missiles just streaked past him. Literally. Oof. Alright, let's keep the pressure up. Yeah, he got very unlucky there with that rocket attack. Damn, he's only got one bone left. Two rounds left. Come on, make it happen. Come on, Natalie. There we go. You blew his legs off, which isn't actually that useful, Nat. You couldn't have taken his head off. Right, let's go. Come on, Keith. Oh, Keith. You disabled his machine gun, which is cool. Interesting. So he's he's doing a dumb. He's not using his rocket launcher. And he's closed into melee range, even though his rocket launcher can pretty much one-shot us if we're not careful. So let's take him out. Oh, close. Come on. Let's get him done. Send it. Oh, yes. Nice. Right, his missile launcher is now disabled. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pay for Keith's repair and recovery, but eh, it won't be too much. Um, Right, he is disabled, so let's get between these two. Attackers. They're both attackers. Ooh, that Raptor is not fantastic. He's only got a PAP 55, really? That's feeble. I suppose that's to balance out the fact that they have like a ridiculous rocket launcher. 
these guys are very unskilled. Which, again, plays into our advantage. Uh, right. Let's get up behind this guy. Come on. Oh, yes. Not bad, Royd. Not bad. Now, let's get this guy padlocked. Ooh. 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 I like it. Ryu. Not bad, brother. Not bad. Alright, come on, Natalie. There we go. Natalie certainly knocked him around. Let's try and move him behind. Waste his ass. Oh, Keith, what are you doing? You got your glasses on, Keith. Jeez. Come on, Nat. Defend yourself. Ah, well, okay. I think Natalie needs glasses as well. Need to get a contract with Specsavers. There we go. Send the big man to do the job. Alright, not bad. Now we just got to finish this guy off. Now, if an enemy mech does get damaged in later on battles, they will retreat to um, a resupply point and try and get repaired. But obviously, there's no such thing here. Come on, Ryuji. I'm just going to call you Ryu. And Natalie is just going to be Nat. Oh, nice kill. Nice kill. And that's, the, that's what it is. It's the Egret rocket launcher. The Egret rocket launcher is monstrous early on. Uh, if you take that motherfucker into the arena, you're going to be printing green. Seriously. And uh, that's what we're going to do. But I don't think you can actually buy the Egret for quite a while. But you can cheese it. Because although we uh, only have one, we can swap it around to our different guys. So we can really milk the arena. Hey, are you alright? Frederick, uh, I've been better, ow. But thanks to you, I got some captivating wartime footage. <laughs> ow. You could have been killed. Hey, I'm a war journalist. That's what I do. I'll get a scoop, even if I have to bite the big one. Ugh. Hey, you lead this outfit, right? i got a favour to ask. Mind if I tag along with you guys? I won't give you any trouble. I'm pretty good with wanzas, and I can shoot a gun better than a camera. And uh, and I would have beat them if I actually had a weapon. Why are you looking at me like that? Do as you like. I'd rather keep you where I can see you than on the loose. Yeah, so we got a new character, Frederick. Uh, he's actually kind of bad to start with. Like, really bloody bad. But, uh, a few rounds in the arena and he will become one of your best. And that is exactly what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. So we have our Egret missile launcher, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go back to New Milligan. Uh, have a look around this town. Um, right. Now the shop I don't think is going to have anything new. We can have a little look. Pretty sure repeat places that you go back to don't have new stuff, but I could be wrong. Yeah, room three, grave, bone. So we can't actually buy the egret yet. Parts, body, tempest. Yeah, okay. So it's only when you get to a new area you can buy new stuff. Um, so what we're going to do is we will bolt um, the egret on. So vehicle, shrike. Let's go to weapons. Right shoulder. Yeah, the egret. So our current weapon does um, 2 times 14 damage. So potentially 28 damage if both rockets hit. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. The egret does 2 times um, 22 damage. So that's 48 damage if both rockets hit. That is a colossal difference. So, let's just take this bad boy into the arena and I'll, I'll show you how much damage this mofo can actually do. So, let's go for someone with good odds. Well, that's about the best we can get. Demon. Hmm. Alright. 
Let's put 500. 500 big ones down. Let's light them up with the egret. Egret also has three volleys of rockets as well. Yeah, like one of the rockets just nearly took him out in one go. Admittedly, that is a problem that can happen. <laughs> There's never a guarantee in the arena. Let's see if we can re-roll that, shall we? Never a guarantee in the arena. But you can kind of uh, improve your odds, shall we say. We got unlucky there. The arena is essentially... I would say it's like... 50% skill, um, pilot skill that is. Actually, I would say it's uh, like 10% pilot skill, 60% um, your equipment, and a good 30% luck. Because no matter what sort of level you're at, you can just get unlucky. Especially if you're like, you know, relying on one weapon, say the egret. And in the first round, the enemy takes that out in one hit. Yeah, like if that took our egret launcher out, we would have been in a much worse position. But it didn't. So that's how the arena goes. And we're level 5. And I spend an obscene amount of time in the arena, let me tell you. So anyway, guys. I'm going to leave that one here. When we come back. I am going to do a little bit of leveling in the arena, not too much, just try and get everybody to level 5. And of course we do have our new guy, Frederick. And Frederick's alright, um, you know, he's fine. But as you can see with his skills, he literally doesn't have any skills to start off with. Uh, I can't actually show you the number values on him but yeah he he has nothing he's useless um he also with each level up his growth is very 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 small it's just a good thing that growth doesn't mean a huge amount in this game so you know that's a thing but anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching when we come back well we'll all be level five and we'll be ready to move on out